You're five doing this for the Burn Foundation. Second that took place last year. We got to get credit this year. We got to win money. We got to get first. Brent, how you doing over here, buddy? I'm ready. Hey guys, chop in on the salad. How you doing over there, gentlemen? Oh yeah, we're, we're ready. ready. All right. Chief, how's that dough coming? Dough's ready to go. Awesome. Ladies, how's that sauce coming? Good. We're ready. We've been working on this for two weeks. Yeah. Hey, welcome to Arizona Fire Medical Authority. This is Fire Station 101. This is Chris Ferrara. And this is Chief Sean Holcomb. This is our fifth year doing the Arizona Burn Foundation Cook Like a Firefighter competition. Last year, we got second place, so we're hoping to top that this year, raise more funds for the Arizona Burn Foundation. So Chris, what do we mean? Chief, this year we are going to be making code three calzones. Welcome to Fire Station 101, where we respond to tones and we make calzones. All right, everybody, out of our kitchen. Thanks for your help. Okay, Chief, so also with our calzones, we're going to have a nice little Italian chopped salad. And we'll go ahead and put that together for you right now. You know what we could use? What's that? Some Station 101 dressing. We've got most of it prepped. Beans for the dressing. All right. Get that mixed up really quick. You know the reason why we're doing this, right? Absolutely. Arizona Burn Foundation. Yes, sir. Raising money for the Arizona Burn Foundation. They do multiple things for the burn community. They do education, training, smoke alarm walks. They donate smoke alarms to communities. They have the burn camp every year, which I attend. They also take care of burn families and they do multiple things throughout the year for their families and the folks that are burning themselves. So How many years have you gone to that burn camp, Chief? This will be my eighth year. This eighth year, year. Yeah. amazing. Yeah. Arizona Fire and Medical Authority absolutely enjoys partnering with the Burn Foundation to help in any way we can. We're gonna give this a quick little pulse. There's our homemade dressing that will go with our chopped salad. Make a quick little stop to check out how our dough balls are rising. Coming along nicely. So we'll go ahead and get over to the stove here. Right now we got our homemade calzone sauce simmering. The ingredients would be found right here. Let that simmer for a little bit. We'll take it off high heat. Kitchen safety in your home. Always remember to keep your handles back away. Uh, I like to make an announcement in my house when I'm cooking and there's little kids around that the kitchen area is off limits just to make sure we don't have any accidents. So always practice um, safety in your kitchen. What we'll do right. now is we're going to take this sauce and go right into the blender with it. Quick little pulls. Perfecto. There is the homemade calzone sauce. Ooh, we. All right, so now we're gonna get the dough ready, Chief, for our calzones. Nice. We're just gonna kind of lightly flour our little area here. We're gonna take our dough ball out, kind of just pat it around, get a little bit of flour on it, a little flipperoo. So, so you just kind of pat around the dough and you just keep moving it around and stretching it like so until you get it to the consistency you want. And then you just kind of massage it around, throw it around, slap it around. Just work out those little kinks, just like so. You've done this once or twice. Whoa. Just like that. So you get the consistency you want. So what's some options to these, this dough? If you don't have the time, if you don't have the time, you could pick up dough balls from your local grocer. Most of them have them in the freezer section. Um, super easy to do. But we also have the recipe right here for you. So spread around a little bit of that homemade calzone sauce. So we're gonna take some of our freshly grated mozzarella cheese, sprinkle that around. Again, try and keep the edges clean. A little fresh grated Romano, never hurt anybody. And why not a little bit of pepperoni and a little bit of salami. A little fresh basil, huh? Fresh basil. A little fresh basil. So then we're gonna go ahead and just simply fold over our calzone like so. Take your fork. Just like that. 
Transfer the calzone over to the sheet, like so. So the last step before we put it into an oven preheated to 425 degrees, is I like to brush it with a little bit of melted butter. And then a, just a light dusting of some garlic powder. Boom. Into the oven it goes. Oh yeah, that's good. We can get a bow. Yeah. Don't cheers. Cheers. You guys I like it. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah it's very delicious. much. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today and making Code Three Calzones with us. If you had the opportunity to make this, please drop a comment below and let us know how it turned out. And don't forget to vote. Every vote is one dollar, and every dollar goes to the Arizona Burn Foundation. Please yeah. vote. Ciao.